Hey, so we are talking about the pyrrolin plot. If you have the data set from multimodal aspect, probably the bar plot is not the right one. So, to depict this data from multimodal aspect, Violin plot will serve better. So, what is violin plot? That's the first question. Violin plot is a combination of box plot and kernel density estimation to represent your data. Now, what actually that means and how do you do the coding? So, let us start with a simple coding. This is a sample one. We use the map blocking, Sivan and Pandas Numpy to create the Stalin plot in Python and in R. We can easily use the ggplot too. We got the map. Let's go through this and then sorry. See. What actually makes the difference? Yeah. Now we have this data set. Let's go in details of the value plot. The first, we see this outer shape of the data. This is the kernel density estimation. It actually represents the probability of the density of the data which has been generated at different values. Now, what does this width mean? Some is has more weight in here, some has low or less in single cell perspective. So here actually it means that the number of cells which has the level of this expression of this specific gene. So, you can see on this side, this is the expression level and here we have the representations of the cells. So for example, in here you have higher number of cells which is expressing this specific gene. Now, if you compare the expression, overall expression, in this control group and after the specific treatment we can see the gene expression level has significantly declined after the treatment that's overall based on KDE. Now the second question is that what does this box plot means inside this? So if you look at this box plot it's been divided into three parts. This is the lower quartile the middle quartile and the higher quartile. So, if you say this one is quartile 1, then this is the median quartile or second quartile and this is the third quartile. In here you can see there is a white dot. What does it mean? So, this actually is the median of the expression of this gene. And it reflects on this area, the 50% of the data is representing on this area, which is the interquartile range. That's the basic of this data representation in here. So, this interquartile uh, region represent 50 percent of your gene expression and within this 
this is the upper quartile and lower quartile. Now we have this kernel density estimation and we have this box plot. Now we compare control versus treated. And what we see in the control treatment, control sample, your median is approximately, let's say, around 4. With a wide range of expression up to 12.5 or 13. When the sample was treated, the gene specifically, the median region had reduced around 1% which is a significant decline and the overall the kernel density estimation reduced from this white area to very limited almost one third of the distribution reduced probably the treatment has worked at some extent and that's the overall concept of the biologic plot so it represents the gene expression with the median value and density plot of kernel density estimation and show the significant difference at multimodal expect to get a better comparative visualization in between the control versus the treatment group. I hope this helps at some extent. Thank you.